What is up guys, Austin Rucho here and today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel for this month. So this is our new Geek Fuel EXP. This is our second one. I pretty uh, really enjoyed the first one. So we're just going to check out a couple until we decide if we want to continue getting it or not. Because obviously this box ships every four months and so it's, you know, as you can see it's really big and everything. And so it costs a lot more money. So, you know, that's the part of like why kind of want to get rid of it but if it's really good we'll continue on so let's get into it so with this box we get a lot of items so um and first here on top we have our um card thing so obviously it's you know got the stuff inside showing you all the items so let's go ahead and start out with our first item which is a marvel comics uh it says canvas collection so we got a little canvas picture of wolverine uh, wolverine comic last time so let's see what this one is this time oh it's the Spider-Man number one, the amazing fantasy with uh, featuring or whatever, introducing Spider-Man. So the very first Spider-Man comic there on the canvas. And I really like these because like I said, we got the Wolverine one and now we have Spider-Man. So you can, you know, get a whole little collection of these canvas prints going of comic book cover stuff. And so that's cool. And this does say it's a Silver Age edition. So that's why it's an older comic. Then next up, we've got some socks here and they're Space Invader socks. So you can see there's Space Invader. So it's got all the different little aliens or whatever stuff going on there. Your ship down there on the bottom. And it looks like on the bottom of the sock it says Space Invaders on it. So that's pretty cool. They feel uh, sort of kind of like dress socks or something. Um, but I really think it's why I like the colors and everything. And I like Space Invaders. So that's cool. Then next up, we've got an air freshener from Rick and Morty. So we've got Rick and Morty inside of a spaceship there. And it says air freshener, new space cruiser scent. And I tried smelling it. But you can't really smell, it just smells like plastic, so I'd have to open it, I don't like opening air fresheners, because, you know, I don't know if I'll ever use them or anything, so I want to keep them sealed until I figure out what I'm going to do with them and everything, but I assume it's supposed to be like the new car smell or something. And next up, we've got a Predator item, of course, I believe for the new Predator movie, this may not be for the new one, but um, it's a Predator bobblehead figure, and it looks really cool. Um, I'm trying to see what it is, like who makes it, it just has geek fuel all over it, um, so I don't know... Who made this because I thought these were like ones you could find in stores and everything but let's go ahead and open it it just says premium bobblehead doesn't say what kind of predator it is or anything but it looks cool so there is the predator so he's in all his armor and stuff so he's not unmasked or anything but he does have some damage going on there and then I like how he's standing on the skull and everything and I like this base like the design it has going on to it and everything that says you know predator there on the bottom and stuff so that looks really cool this is a doesn't bobble too much because of the like hair part back there but it's still really cool then next up we've got this box that looks like a, an ant farm I can think of what they're called an ant farm there and so on the top it says giant insects mansion um such wow much cool amaze i don't know what all that's supposed to mean but as i figured from the inside it is a t-shirt so i don't know what this oh probably Ant-Man, I see Marvel on it, so obviously it's Ant-Man. So there it is. So we have the astonishing Ant-Man. Ooh, and I really like that artwork with like classic comic book style. It says, um, it reduced him to the size of an insect. Um, help Ant-Man and whoosh and all sorts of stuff. And I really like that artwork on there, and it's really cool. Oh, and then on the side of the arm here, it says um, actual size, and it has a if I can get the sleeve to open a little size or thing of Ant-Man. I can't get it to open there but it says actual size on there and stuff so that's really cool that's a really nice shirt and of course this is like one of my favorite color shirts ever so that is awesome and i'm really happy with that then next up we've got a mario related item they're called super shakers and so we have what would be like uh, mario and luigi but it says s oh probably like salt and pepper because it says s and p so let's see exactly what these are designed i assume they're still going to be the hats yes they are these are giant salt and pepper shakers so there is the salt and so as you can see it looks like mario's hat and there's the holes on the top so that's a pretty big um, salt shaker and stuff and then of course the pepper there of Luigi so you can have both of them together like I said I really like this um, but like I said those are pretty big so I don't know if you'd have a place to you know hold store these or anything you know and you just want them to sit somewhere but they are pretty cool looking then our next item is another steam code that geek Fu used to give us this one is called um, I don't know how to say it epistory or epistory um, typing Chronicles, and so it has a girl on a wolf there, 
And so um, I usually, again, as I mentioned, passive don't really ever use these codes. Um, but I think it's cool that they do throw them in there. So maybe someday I'll eventually try some of these games out or something and maybe do them on the channel. But um, they'd have to look pretty interesting, and this doesn't look too good to, for me at least. But we do get a code. And our last item out of this box is a Q fig, and it is a Geek Fuel exclusive, and it is a Deadpool with unicorns, and it um, says that it's an exclusive X Force variant. So we have Deadpool there in the black and gray or white color outfit there. So let's take a look at this. So here is the Deadpool, and this looks really cool. So we have Deadpool here taking a selfie, which it's really cool because I don't know if you can see, but. Um, even there on the phone, you can see him in the picture, so it's really nice that they had that on there. I expect it was just a blank screen or something. But there he is taking a selfie, and he's holding the unicorn there. It's like stuffed animal, and it has the Deadpool mask on it as well, which is pretty fun. And then there are two more stuffed animal unicorns there on the ground. And then I like how it's even got the Deadpool um, like logo, but it's supposed to look like shag carpeting or something because it's all like raised up and it looks like carpet and everything so that's really fun and cool of course a Q fig figure it says hashtag unicorn selfie i guess is what that's called and this is a really fun and cool um Q fig and so that is awesome and just to show off the inside again like they did in the last one so this time we have some predator related stuff so we have two characters there of course the one over here looks like the arnold character that you can cut out and has a little stand so you can add them in and then on the inside of the box it looks like the jungle so you can have a little diorama there so you can obviously take your little predator figure thing and stick it inside there you know to make it a diorama from the predator and then add the little um cut out figures and stuff so that is pretty cool that they do that they actually you know throw in a little diorama play set into the box as well just adding more value into it so that is all of our items so let's go ahead and look at our little pamphlet or whatever book thing here so here you can see all of the items and then it does i did notice it just or it says that they're top two volume two so you do know that this is the second one so let's go ahead and look through each of them so first item it's showing is our ant man shirt again that i really like the artwork and everything on the shirt so i hope this fits because i really want to wear that the next up was the Deadpool Q fig that I think is probably one of the funnest Q figs we've gotten in quite a while, so that is awesome. The next up was the air freshener, the Rick and Morty air freshener, which is, I guess, cool. I mean, no, there's, I don't have any need for air fresheners, and I'm not a big fan of Rick and Morty, so I don't have any use for this. The next up was our Space Invader socks. Again, I really like the artwork and colors that they chose for these socks. I think it makes them look really cool. Then was our salt and pepper shakers, again, that look like Mario and Luigi hats. Very cool idea, and I like the designs and everything. They're just really big for salt and pepper shakers. Then we had our Spider-Man canvas painting here of the first appearance Spider-Man comic book. Again, I really like these canvas pictures that they're throwing in, and I really like this one as well to go along with our Wolverine. Then we had our Predator bobblehead figure, again, um, that was really cool. And it does show that there was a variant of 500 that uh, we could have got. It's battle damage. It had a bunch of glow-in-the-dark green stuff all over it. You know, that'd be like the it's been in a fight and everything. I think that would have been cool too, but this one is just as cool. And, of course, the last item was our Steam code for Epistory, or however you say that game. So that is going to be it for this month's Geek Fuel Box. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was be sure to leave a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos and we'll see you next time